something to say, you should hear it all. I'm happy to make time for your feelings, but you have to admit I already do. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Christina, your fashion and beauty advisor. Today I want to recreate one of Kendall Jenner's Instagram look and this precisely is that one. So what we need here to achieve is a short fringe, thin eyeliner, nude lips and lots of contouring. So without any further ado, let's jump and go on to the actual tutorial. I'm gonna first start with applying the cream. So I need uh, a thick layer of cream to have the smooth skin and then go on to the foundation. I'm gonna use the magic foundation of Charlotte Tilbury, do a couple of pumps on my arm and then apply generously on my face. Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me and everyone for the under the eye area and little spots. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury the retoucher medium and I'm just gonna apply in the areas that needs a little bit of highlighting. Estee Lauder Invisible Powder to set. Jenner along with all the sister Kardashians are crazy about contouring so on this occasion I'm going to take the walnut stick foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills and draw some lines so try to make it as sharp as possible When I'm blending, I really want to blend it upwards rather than downwards because we want this part here to stay highlighted. So to have this very prominent jawline, I would just blend this under the jaw rather than on the actual jaw, so more like on the neckline. I'm going to take this cream color I'm going to continue with the contouring when I finish with the complete look. Now I'm jumping on to the eyebrows. Kendall Jenner's eyebrows are not that pointy but are more long and straight. So I'm going to try to recreate that shape. I'm just going to take the brow foot ultra line and use the charcoal side to kind of draw the shape so this is the shape ready now her eyebrows are thinner here they are quite straight and getting thicker in this part and this part is actually very short so I'm just gonna fill in the gaps now with this color and might be a mixture of both I never gonna stop. No, no. as the color of her eyebrows is more brownish rather than grayish
So next I'm going to take the same cream foundation Up next, I'm taking Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm going to use this color which is called Primo and I'm going to use a single eyeshadow Go deep into the crease And up next, I want to apply a very thin eyeliner. I'm going, I'm going to use the black truck from MAC and this kind of angle brush. I'm taking this your Jingle Mat 614. I'm going to use this Dior Palette Signature Matte and use this color right here. Come on. Listen to me. I've tried so many times to tell you this is as good as I can be. Why isn't it enough to be faithful and also be the And finally, I need loads of highlighter and a contouring. So I'm just gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills in Perla, in Perla. to highlight cheekbones I definitely need loads here and the eyebrows and I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury now the highlighter and apply loads of it And now I'm taking the bronzer one. And apply a very sharp line, I'm not trying even to blend it out. And to have that super sharp contrast, I want to take again this and apply it just under the highlighter use the powder to bake it
so this is how it's going to look like as you can see it's quite sharp and quite prominent the actual cheekbones so if you highlight this area right after you use the bronzer here you will see the difference. So in order to achieve this um, left eye effect I'm going to do a high ponytail and at the same time I want to make it super tight so I really want to pull my hair with this kind of elastic with a hook Stop, no. 